All right, here at Shogun, we are now prototyping and developing the all 2014 Toyota Tundra. Um, this vehicle, uh, at first glance, appeared to be uh, quite an easy conversion. Um, however, it's proven to be uh, exactly the opposite. Although there are parts of the conversion which are relatively easy to prototype, there are other parts of the conversion which have proved to be quite a handful. Um, the, the, the conversion is probably two weeks from completion, uh, maximum of three weeks away, but uh, it's progressing really, really well. Uh, so we, what we've actually done at this stage is we have completely uh, we've remodeled the wiper scuttle on the car. That's actually been uh, modified and painted right now. Um, we've now made a new plastic upper wiper scuttle um, that is in mold production at the moment. As you can see, we've got the new uh, that's that's the new fresh air intake on this side here, where the air is going to um, be able to go up and into the new heater box uh, of the vehicle. Um, as for things, the, the steering, uh, well, we've, we've fitted a new generic rack into the truck, um, which bolts into the original mounts, and uh, it's actually really, uh, really, you know, that's that's one of the more straightforward parts of the conversion, which is a good thing that we're able to use a genuine Toyota part in the vehicle for the rack. Um, the firewalls have already been taken care of. Um, as you can see before, we're actually just about ready to start painting and just doing um, aesthetics to the vehicle. Um, we're, uh, we've actually gone a long way with the dash on this. Uh, we're actually in the final few days of completion of the dash. As you can see, um, they're doing the final fit up inside the vehicle at the moment. Um, they've, you know, there have been some big challenges on this because as much as it looks like a symmetrical dash, it really is not that symmetrical. Um, you know, parts that where you're expecting uh, things to be simple turn out to be more difficult. But um, all in all, the dash is turning out to be really, really nice. Um, we've utilised the original glove box and um, this vehicle also has uh, low and knee airbags fitted to it as well. Um, obviously really important we get those in the perfect original positions and the mirrored positions. Um, all of the pedals have been located, uh, park brake has been located, computer has been relocated, the heater box has been reprototyped and that's all been sorted out already. Um, we've made the moulds for that, um, just waiting for a final fitment once the dash comes out of this. Um, really the only thing we've got left to do on this now is electrical. We've even gone to the point we've made a whole new set at centre console for the vehicle, which I'll show you here. It's just waiting final fitment. Okay, so this is a new model of the centre console. Um, the original centre console obviously um, allowed for the gear shift on this one used to be over here to allow for the left-hand drive vehicle. The cup holder was on this side over here and we had this part, this recess that was here and the, this cup holder was over here. You don't have to reverse any of those things, but we've decided to reverse all of those aspects. We've also made the, the bottom part of the, uh, the centre console as well um, because it needed to be modified underneath. So rather than just cut and shut the original one, I thought we'd just make a whole new part. So this is waiting for a final fit up so that we can actually get the, the, the shift control into here and we can make the modifications on the shift control and see if there's any final modifications to make before we start to go and put a skin on this and turn it into a production mold. So um, that's another part that's complete. So that, that was another one of those you know jobs that doesn't look that big that turns into a really big job. Um, so as you can see the dash, we're really close. This is uh, really close. We're just doing a final fit up now. Once we've done the final fit up on this dash, we go to a mold production phase. Once we make the mold, uh, we're then in a situation where um, we're, we're then producing parts. So that's why I say we're, we're probably two, maximum of three weeks away from a total completion on this vehicle. Um, really, it's going to be a nice truck, really, really nice conversion, nice truck. Um, we're, we're happy with the results on it.